How's it going, everybody? Chris Cards back through the mail on Monday. Five returns for your viewing pleasure today. Hope everyone out there had a great weekend. Our first of five returns here is from Suburban, Illinois. Right there on the envelope. There it is. Let's see who we got for our first return. Opening day on Thursday. Looking forward to it. Better late than never, right? We've got Steve Stanisek. Steve Stanisek, four games with the Milwaukee Brewers in 1987. Just enough games to land him on an 88 uh, Fleer card. There is a Denver Zephyrs card I got in the Sears package many, many years ago. So I'm setting them out because I keep finding them. In fact, I found the box. You guys remember this box? If anyone ordered from the Sears catalog back in the day baseball cards, you got a value box that looked something like this and was filled with absolute garbage. But you know what? When I was uh, 10 or 11, man, I love that little box. And in fact, I still got all the cards inside there. So I went through them and I found Steve Stanisek, saw that he signed, found a Fleer card of his and sent it off to him. You remember this guy, Brewers Pilots fan? I don't think you will remember Stan, uh, Stan, Steve. He's got a brother, Pete. Debuted 15 days apart in 1987. Pete had 113 games under his belt for the Orioles. And uh, four games for the Milwaukee Brewers in 87. Nine games with the Phillies in 89. Like just nine pinch-hitting appearances in uh, 1980 for the Phillies. So he had, uh, what, uh, 13 games under his belt. So very short careers for the Stanisek brothers, but that's okay. They're both pretty good signers. Happy to get these cards uh, signed and uh, back in my greedy little paws. Thank you very much, Steve, in case you're watching this. Let's move on to return number two. All right, gang, return number two from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Minneapolis. So fun to say. Let's see who our second return of the day is. We, uh, we've we got one card in here. And let's see here. It's kind of stuck in here a little bit. Man, I can't get it out. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Dude, it's like taped to the envelope. Who do we have? Oh, gosh. We got... We got an 84 Tiffany of Paul Molitor. Is it signed? It is signed. Man, how does it get it's just stuck? Oh man, that signature is beautiful. All right, it's loose and it is uh, signature is in great shape. Hall of Famer, 2004, 21 year career, 15 years with the Brewers. I'm sure. Man, I'm getting lots of Brewers, uh, Brewers Pilots guy. I don't know if you've noticed or not. Yeah, it's really sticky up top. I'm not sure if that's from the... It's got to be from the gloss of the Tiffany card. Thankfully, the signature didn't streak. This was $30 with the inscription. $20 for the signature, $10 with the inscription. In fact, he's raised his prices to, I think, $30 and $10. So $40, this would normally cost me. This is from the vault. Maybe I had it sitting too long. There's the uh, stuff. I got the inscription on it. Paid an extra $10 for that. There's information. Uh, that was a very scary return. Glad it came out in good shape, though. Paul Molitor... 21-year career, 15 with the Brewers. As I said, 93 World Series champion with the Jays, for those that might have forgot that. Seven-time All-Star. Awesome return. I got a few more Brewer. Brewer. I got a few more Paul Molitor cards to get signed, so it's going to cost me a little bit of money, but I was really happy to get this back in good shape and uh, glad to get it out of the envelope without killing it. That was uh, really weird. I'm going to put it in my pages now. I'm not sure what I should do. Uh, penny sleeve it and make sure the... Uh, Make sure the stickiness is off. I might use an eraser or something to try to gently get rid of some of that tackiness on the card so it doesn't stick on anything else. I put it in, and uh, there you guys go. Paul Molitor, return number two. Let's go. Let's find out who's... Let's see what we can do for an encore here. Return number three. Let's get this, guys. Let's go. All right, gang. This one is from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania for our third return. Let's hope this one comes out a little easier. Oh, yeah. This one is ready to just jump out of the envelope. Let's see who we have here, guys. We've got uh, Sparky Lyle. Sparky Lyle. Legendary reliever. Lefty of the Yankees. Seven years with the Yanks. Five years with the Boston Red Sox. And a handful of years with a few other teams. Let's see. 74 for this set. Oh, we signed it in silver sharpie. Man, that looks good. Very thoughtful signer right there. $5 a card. Worth every penny. Got the 74 tops card signed for the set. The autographs that I'm collecting and the other three cards came out great. 1977, first American League reliever to win the Cy Young. He was uh, also a member of those 77-78 World Series championship Yankee teams there that beat up on the Dodgers those two years. Three-time All-Star. Awesome return from Sparky Lyle. Man, I'm really happy with that 74 Tops card. That came out great because it was just... Uh, 
uh, you know, it wasn't going to look good with a blue Sharpie with that black jacket on, but there you guys go. Sparky Lyle Lizards information, $5 a card, quite a bargain for a pretty good little reliever. Led this uh, league in saves two years, I think, for the Yanks. And there you guys have it. Um, pretty good uh, follow-up to uh, Paul Molitor. Let's move on. Let's see who we got for number four. Return number four. Let's go. All right, gang. Charlotte, North Carolina for our next return. Hopefully it's not a NASCAR driver. In fact, let's, let's save that for last in case it is. And I can just cut it off the end of the video here. Mid-Island, New York. Let's uh, do this one instead. Let's see who we've got here for our fourth return. We'll do the North Carolina guy last. If it is a NASCAR driver. And we've got Jose Valdevilso. 1955. Cuban infielder of the Washington Senators. In fact, he played with the Senators sporadically during the mid to late 50s. All the way until uh, 1961 when the Senators became the Twins. That was his last professional year. Well, no, his last pro year was like 1964. But 1961 was his last major league year infielder for the Senators. Lost his starting job to another Cuban infielder in, I think, 58. There you guys go. There's his information. $5 a card for him. He uh, did did um, sign it in ballpoint pen, I guess. Uh, not, not a terribly great signature, but you know what? This guy's in his uh, late 80s, perhaps early 90s, so uh, it is what it is. Glad to get these two cards signed and happy to move on to return number five from, uh, well, Charlotte, North Carolina. Let's see who we got here. Let's hope it is a baseball player. Otherwise, it'd be a weird mix to throw a NASCAR driver into a through the mail on Monday. Let's see who we got. All right, gang. Let's close out through the mail on Monday with our final return. And we've got letter request in here. We've got some cards. Looks like 89 upper deck cards for the set. And it is. We've got Frank Viola, Sweet Chin Music. Signed the 89 Twins checklist and the 89 upper deck card signed beautifully inscribed 88 American League Cy Young Award winner, 87 World Series champion and MVP with the Twinks. Awesome return from Mr. Frank Viola. $5 a card. I don't think I sent anything extra for the inscription. I just asked nicely for it. Very cool return from Frank Viola. I had to get these 90, 1989 Upper Deck cards signed for the set. 15-year career, guys. Eight with the Twins, three with New York, three with Boston. New York uh, Mets, that is. Three-time All-Star. This guy had a heck of a career and uh, very happy to get these two cards signed back. Signs for a pretty uh, insignificant amount. Very nice uh, from Frank Viola. Very happy to get these back and a great way to finish off through the mail. Monday number 168, guys. Hope everyone out there is excited for opening day on Thursday with the Mets. As a Mets fan, I've got uh, what Scherzer's hurt and uh, DeGrom's hurt. Yeah, it's, that's about right. That's about right. We're going to have Tyler McGill opening up for us, and we're probably going to get slaughtered as the entire team probably goes hitless and gets no hit. Probably a perfect game against us on Thursday against the Nationals, who uh, aren't good this year, aren't supposed to be good. But you know what? We're going to we're gonna crap the bed on opening day in Washington against them, and uh, it's just going to be a miserable season for the Mets, as it always is. Yes, 2015 was a good year. Had a lot of fun that year. As soon as we got Cespedes, it was game on. We saw some awesome wins from the Mets. But uh, then, of course, we uh, well, we had a lead in every game of the World Series that year. And we still end up losing uh, to the Royals, who haven't won since 1985. And I thought, well, the Mets haven't won since 86. So 2016 was the Mets' year. No. That was uh, seven years ago now, my friends. So uh, you know what? Just had to get that out there. I mean, that's, that's it. You know, my expectations for this year. You got the aging... Max Scherzer, who's 37, and uh, who knows if he can stay healthy? Maybe he'll, maybe he will play. I haven't, I haven't read the, or the the latest news on him, but I think, I think he's skipping a start with his hamstring injury. So that's it as a Mets fan. I mean, that's that's me getting excited for the season. That's just how it goes. It's par for the course for me. And any of you Mets fans out there listening, you know what I'm talking about. Look at this week's haul from uh, through the mail on Monday: Sparky Lyle, Paul Molitor, Jose Valdivilso, and Frank Viola, and of course. Stan, I keep wanting to call him Stan, Steve Stanisek, because his last name is Stanisek, it's just, it's just the way it is, <clears throat> you know how his name is, is, uh, is, um, put together, Paul Molitor car looks sweet, Sparkle Lyles came out great, that 74 Tops car, look at that guys, that looks great as well, very happy to get that, 
Uh, I always try to send, if it's $5 a card, I usually try to send four cards for 20 bucks. Just makes it nice and easy to th send through the mail as opposed to, you know, $5, 10 or $15. It's weird. So I had a few sort of newer Sparky Lyle cards. Wish I had more vintage Sparky Lyle. Maybe I should go uh, buy a couple of more vintage cards and send it off to him. That was a really nice return from him. And, uh, yeah, that's it, gang. Uh, very excited for this Thursday, my wife's birthday, as I said before. Opening day. Great time to have it, of course. Uh, still working a lot, guys. So I uh, haven't gotten too many other videos except through the mail Monday. So stay tuned um, for more eventually, hopefully. We'll see what happens. And uh, that is it, my friends. Enjoy the week. Enjoy the day. And uh, thanks for watching Through the Mail Monday. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you like to. I do this every single week, every Monday, for uh, several years now. And uh, that's that. Thanks, guys, for watching. See ya.